How's it going, everybody? It's time for another Eden run. Run number four. So let's hope for a win. Hope for a nice start. Let's see what we get. All right, so the seed's going to be 67 ZFG800. We have good tiers, below average damage, below average speed, pretty below average stats overall in the tier detonator, and I think that's either deck of cards or starter deck. Get two hermit cards, so... Yeah, let's, let's check out some rooms first before we start playing around with our HP. I almost walked into that fire on accident. Oh man, three bombs. It's an excellent start to get three bombs right away. It is Curse of Darkness, I think, right? Yeah. Couldn't really tell because the room was pretty well lit. Gotta watch out for the snipe from that guy. We'll take a key. Is that Zodiac? I think that's Zodiac. You gotta watch out for this champion here. There we go. Yeah, so this gives you a random effect on each floor, like a random Zodiac symbol on each floor. So we got Gemini on this floor, which is this little conjoined guy. So he's actually not terrible early on. It's pretty annoying on the later floors. Um, this could be a secret room up here. I'm gonna try to get the bomb. Yeah, okay. Well, we didn't lose a bomb, so it was worth a shot. <coughs> There's a tenant rock there, it's good to see. Go ahead and check that out. Perfect. So we're going to come back for those soul hearts after we beat the boss. And after we go into the cursed room, which is going to be right now, because there is a half red heart on the ground, so we can get our heart instantly back. So I'm going to hermit card out of here. So I'm going to walk into the cursed room, hermit card out. Hopefully there's something good in here. Cards. Got to be careful, though. These are demon fires. Yep, they shoot back. All right, what do we have? High Priestess is good. We have clubs. That doubles our bombs. So it's probably worth... We can probably just do that now. Yeah, so I'm going to Hermit out of here. And I'm going to High Priestess the boss, most likely. Get Stopwatch. It's pretty big in the first store. Five pots. Can we get all five with one bomb? I think we can get four. We got a scent. Um, the super secret room should actually be up here. Chest. I get some flies, more damage for the boss. All right, let's go fight Ragman here. This is a pretty annoying Ragman fight. I want to try to kill his adds before our high priestess. Because I don't want the High Priestess to hit. Okay, well, it's a good spot. Perfect. Ah, nice. Jesus Juice. So that's going to be damage and range. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I will go back and pay a full heart just to get my Hermit card. I think. Actually, no. That's probably not worth it. Where's the regular Secret Room? This is a weird floor layout. Could be below. Let's see what this room looks like. No, can't be below. Could be above here. We checked above here. Can't be below here. So it's... I think it's got to be up here. Really? Maybe... And it's not... Okay, so maybe I just missed right here. So let's try one more time. Okay. One other spot it could be. I want to try for it just because if it is below on the left here, 
We can get our Hermit card back for free, essentially. Yeah. So I am going to go back in there to get our Hermit card, because it's going to be free at this point. Donation machine. <clears throat> I wish we would have known that earlier. We could have saved some hearts, but oh well. So I want to keep over five cents because that's going to allow an arcade to spawn on the next floor. So I'm going to just take these two soul hearts and I don't think anything was worth it in here. We had a half price key. But yeah, that's, that's not really worth. So we have Hermit. Let's go on down. All right, thank God we have no more Curse of Darkness. Um, okay, we got, was that, is that Pisces or Sagittarius? I don't know which one it is. <clears throat> uh, okay, a bomb would be nice to have there. I will check out the vault. Terrible. We did get a bomb though, I guess, so can't complain too much. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb that just for more soul hearts. Continue to protect that devil deal. Will these blow up the pots at all? Can I shoot through? No, okay. I don't think these are gonna get the pots, no. I'm just really checking for a crawl space. Oh my gosh. That actually scared me a bit. I was not ready for him to just show up right there. Um, we'll check out our shop in a minute. I want to find the item room first. Man, that's another ten of drop. It's pretty huge. No bomb, though, for it. Hopefully we'll get a bomb somewhere on this floor again. So one thing nice about Zodiac is that if it does, um... Actually, never mind. I'm trying. I'm thinking of something else. So yeah, it does give us like these random damage ups like this, and I think that Sagittarius, maybe not Sagittarius, but there's one item that's gonna give us a all stats up. Can't even remember what that is off the top of my head now. But anyways, that's pretty huge to get on a floor. So we got creep right there, which is or not creep, um, the the zit or whatever, which is gonna leave this on the ground. Another High Priestess, wow. Seeker room should be to the left here. I wish I would have looked at that before going into the item room, but it is what it is. Don't have any bombs anyway, so... Okay. Come on, spider. Trying to snipe. Trying to get that snipe, I see. Alright, we got our key back. Uh, we got the boss. Let's probably just kill this boss first. We have a High Priest discard again, so, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Got Crack Jacks, and we got another HP up, so it's two HP up. This could be red, too. It is red. Doorstop's a pretty good trinket. Alright, we get Guppy number one. Good enough for me. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna use the Hermit card. I'm gonna head into that curse room and I'm gonna use the Hermit card to get into the shop. We still have an untouched Tinted Rock. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. It saves a key. Get Mama Mega. That'd be very nice to get, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get that. Um, I'm gonna check that item fanny pack. I think that's the two trinkets No when hit you have a chance to drop a pickup, so we actually don't want that I think I'm gonna buy a bomb We're gonna go bomb that tenant rock that we found and then probably just head to the next floor Okay, we got a key and a soul heart, so that was worth it. 
So essentially we paid five cents for a key and a soul heart. Could have checked the secret room potentially, but I don't know. Too random. So Curse of the Unknown. I don't know what we got with our Zodiac this time. I'm not really liking this room either. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Our damage is so bad, I'm trying... No! All right, so we lost at least a full heart right there. I say our damage is so bad. I was trying to just dodge the bomb flies because um, I didn't want to like accidentally blow one up. So we lost one of our soul hearts. So I think we're down to like six. I'm gonna just say we're down to like five now to be safe. The so three red hearts and and two soul hearts. They kill everything. Yeah. More bomb flies. All right. Definitely don't want to get hit by the champion bombs. I think we're safe for now. Okay, this guy has infinite HP apparently. Um, a gold chest, yeah, it's probably worth it for this room. I would say that's worth it right there. Should probably be using my tier detonator more. It's not the best item, but it's free damage, essentially. Yeah, so even with Jesus Juice, our damage is still pretty low. We're definitely looking for more damage at some point. Hopefully we get a devil deal on this floor. That'd be nice. All right. So I'm not going to go in that curse room just yet. I'll hit it up at the end of the floor for sure. <clears throat> More freaking bombs. <laughs> Secret room is sometimes to the left here, so we could try <clears throat> to use one of these bombs like right up against this top wall. But it's probably not really worth the effort, to be honest. Okay, let's see where this guy's going. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, That's unlucky. I believe that bomb fly actually dropped a bomb. Alright. Take our coin and move on. It's random to see this guy on... Was this Caves 1? I probably shouldn't have popped that poop, but I'm counting on taking him down. Yep. So yeah, if you don't pop that poop in that room, it's a lot easier to dodge him at first. Because he'll just charge right into that instead of charge right at you. I like seeing a room filled with mushrooms. That was a pretty wild charge there. But we have to assume we've lost two soul hearts, and I think we only had three total. So, some pretty bad damage, but hey, it is what it is. We're not the strongest right now, either. You get a dime out of that. <clears throat> Alright, so we definitely want to find the shop here. Secret room is almost 100% going to be above this room. We get a bomb, so let's go find out. It is. More money. I'm not going to take this money yet. <clears throat> 
Just in case there's like a D20 in the item room. That creep stayed on the floor forever there. All right, let's see what we get. It's a pretty trash, uh, pretty trash looking room. We need to get an item out of here. Earn back time. I'm gonna take a soul heart for now, just for extra protection, and I'll buy the half off bomb just to roll it again. Oh my god. We get jumper cables for the second time in that room. Pretty uh pretty ridiculous. Alright, let's roll it again. <clears throat> Pretty happy to see the glowing hourglass also for the second time in two roll or three rolls. Pretty ridiculous. All right. Let me try to be careful in this room. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Our damage is just so pathetic and those things shoot so, so crazy. So we lost half of that soul heart that we picked up. That's still okay. We're still we're still doing okay on HP. Our damage though is just is just not it right now. There was that item room we were looking for. I try to keep my distance from these guys. Yeah. All right, we get a bomb. That's nice. Okay. Reroll stats. Is it worth it? Hierophant. We'll use it. Honestly, I'll reroll the stats once. Let's see. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, that's pretty good. The damage is essentially doubled. Our tears are a little slow, but I'm okay with that. Um, I want to bomb this collection of mushrooms. Lucky Penny. That's good. Another step in the right direction. Um, I think it's time to fight the boss. Man, our movement speed, though, on that stat reroll turned into trash. Oh, boy. I think it's still good, though, to have high damage. But let's let's just see how this boss fight goes. Okay, so this is going to be good at least because we can one-shot any flies that he creates, which I don't think this version of uh, Hus creates any flies. I think he's just going to shoot. And yeah, this would have been... Okay, well, I still managed to get hit. <clears throat> that would have been a terrible fight without that. And we get a tears up, so now we're, we're actually pretty good. <clears throat> but yeah, if I had kept my damage, if we would have two-shot those flies. It would have just been really annoying. Judas's freaking shadow... Yep. Yeah, so um, that's pretty good. Diplopia is really good. I'm going to take that. And I think we'll check the cursed room. Because if we die, who cares? We have Judas's shadow. I'd like to turn into Judas. However, if we can do it from a devil deal, <clears throat> that would be pretty good too. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, we should actually just hit this chest. Oh my god, I'm so glad we did. I was gonna say, maybe we should just turn into Judas on this floor. Okay, we got a black heart there. Um We could double that. <clears throat> But I don't think that's worth it. We can still buy a soul heart. I think it's time to turn into Judas here. Is 
So we must have had... Is that cancer, I think? So did we get HP? Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, okay. So that's, that's a net even, then. I was I should have killed myself outside of that room. So now our damage is 26. I'm going to go buy that soul heart in the shop just so we can know that we have three. Um, our movement speed's still pretty trash, but that cricket head pickup, or cricket's head pickup was so good. Um, yeah, let's take that soul heart. And yeah, we have Diplopia going into the next floor. Really, really strong start. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, so we're at 3 HP. Let's keep on trucking. So we essentially have Polyphemus tiers without having Polyphemus. So we can still get tiers up pills, or tiers up anything, and bring our tiers down to 5 with this damage, which is insane. Because we're going to pretty much one-shot every enemy now. Um, so this time it looks like we got Aquarius, which is the blue you see behind me. That's it's Trail of Tears, basically, is what it stands for, or what the description is on it. All right, all right, cool. We get a key. That's that's pretty nice. That was almost really bad damage. I was expecting one shot to kill those guys. Okay, this is a room I don't think I've ever seen before. I'm okay with it, though. Free money, a bomb. Good stuff. And I think there was a key in there, too. It's not worth it yet. Yeah, I'm thinking on that last four, we probably had either Cancer or Virgo, which is why it took us so long to kill ourselves on that fire, which means we probably gave up a lot of red HP, but I think it's worth it for this damage, because this damage is just out of control now. The world is nice. Yeah, we're two shotting fatty baddies. I don't really want that. That's that's a random Loki's horns. Yeah, so that item was glaucoma, which is blind tears, which I think just like like makes the enemies have like a concussive effect or something like that. I don't know. I never take it. It's kind of pointless. Let's do anything for our stats. Cool looking. Doorstop is better here though. Our movement speed. We need movement speed at this point. It is so bad. Restock is nice to see. I think let's take it. We still have Diplopia that we can we can Diplopia something in here if we really really want it. We don't want that. All right, let's let's go fight the boss real quick. The Mega Fatty in possibly one of the smallest rooms I've ever seen Mega Fatty in. Okay, and it's that version of Mega Fatty. That's annoying. We try to kill him as soon as possible. So, yeah, very happy I took uh, Judas' shadow there. We get an HP up. I, I'm actually okay with that. Um, the matchstick could give us more bombs, which, yeah, we don't really need doorstop anymore. So let's take that. And, uh, wow, our range, I just noticed, our range is 36. Um, let's roll through this one more time. Get a half-off card. What do you got for us? Emperor is nice to see. All right, I'm going to probably full clear this floor to see what else we can come away with. 
Uh, obviously, any more HP at this point would be nice. Just be kind of icing on the cake. Secret room should be above there. Um, we want movement speed, though. I'm... Uh, do I want to go in that cursed room? I guess I could. I'm going to go in there. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to go get the uh, the money from our secret room on the last floor. All right, I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to emperor out, probably. I would like to touch that, but... Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. All right, let's 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 just go. <clears throat> Thanked up. I'm going to use the world card. Our tears rate is amazing now. Our damage dropped significantly. And our movement speed is insane. I don't know what zodiac symbol we got, but yeah. Uh, there's a mini boss in here. Let's go fight him. NV is fine. This is actually going to be a pretty good damage floor. Should be a pretty easy floor to clear. Just because of this high tiers rate. Shoot the Uh, yeah. We'll actually... We'll just take this guy along for the ride while we clear the floor. Like to see some bombs like that. Hopefully we get a nickel. We do. Keep on cruising. Uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna full clear again just because we have really good stats here. This will be an easy full clear. This room is annoying. <clears throat> Come on, man. So, really want some HP. Not liking this room at all. Definitely glad I took shoot for that. This is going to be an interesting devil deal. Okay, now it's not as interesting. We get even more tiers up. HP, which is huge. It's Krampus fight anyway, so... It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> which way are we going? I knew I was going to get hit there. Alright, Lump of Coal's good. <clears throat> We need to 100%... Oh, God, we're moving just so fast. We need to get into the store. Probably buy some soul hearts for the next few floors. As our stats are good, but our HP is getting a little questionable. That's a room to keep in mind. I don't know where that invisible fly went. There he is. He dropped a red chest. That was pretty pointless. Stars card. So, stars card is good. It's going to teleport us to the item room. I could probably be making better use of shoot. I almost took damage there. I'm just being lazy. They said diamonds? It's okay. Alright. <clears throat> Nothing really good in here. What's what is this? Two clubs. Gonna double our bombs. Might as well just use it now. We can go kind of hard on this donation machine if we wanted to. I'm 
Just trying to think of what we would buy for. I think it's probably best to just save this money for the greed fight we're gonna get on the next floor. So I'll bomb it one more time, because that'll essentially be all of our free bombs. So we got 20 cents, so next floor we can get a soul heart and... Okay, that's fine, I guess. So we can get a soul heart if there's one in the store, and we can get um, a premium item. Yeah, restock's not really paying off right now. Unfortunately. Oh my god, I almost got hit again. Oh, a black rune. Okay, that can change things. <clears throat> Take a black rune and the stars card for now. Yeah, I'm just going to use that. I don't want to get hit. Yeah, those little, uh, those little guys are fast there. And they're kind of hard to see on this flooring. Um, yeah, let's just let's keep exploring for now. Never know, there could be a random soul heart drop. Donation machine is interesting. I don't really want to go hard on that right now. I will pay this guy out seven cents though. See what he gives. A bomb. Yeah, luck up. It's fine. Um, so we just have the cursed room left. We can get out for free, but then we're going to be putting our devil deal chance at risk. We can ace of diamonds a room. All right, let's go see what this room has first. So yeah, we can Ace of Diamonds one of these rooms. And it'll turn everything into coins on the ground. And maybe it should probably be used in this room. Although, we already have what we want from these chests. We have Cricket's Head. We could get Steven, I guess. Should be good. And this is just the regular mob trap room, so let's let's just do it. I would have saved that for these guys. These guys are a little annoying. <laughs> All right, well, that was pretty easy, though. All right, let's just see what we have in here. So we got money, mystery sack, silver dollar. That is fantastic. So that's going to give us two more stores on womb one and womb two. And with restock, if we find a soul heart, we're good on HP. <clears throat> I think I'm going to black rune this mystery sack. Let's see what this card is. Temperance. Yeah. I'm going to black rune the mystery sack. And it's actually going to eat all these other cards too. So hang on. So we want to keep this. Black rune. And we're going to pick up the temperance. Just for next floor. Okay, we got luck up and shot speed up. So that's actually okay. Um, we have Ace of Diamonds that we can use. I'd like to find a room with more than one pickup in it. What was this? Oh, that was the Stars card. It was just a battery up here, right? Single battery. I'm going to buy a key just so we have guaranteed access to the store. And we don't need a battery, so I guess let's just roll it into money. We get a penny. Go back, get our stars card. And after what felt like a forever floor, forgot we had Diplopia. Could that be good? Could it be better than Shoop? Probably not a great play, but let's hold on to it for now. I 100% I'm getting tired, I guess. 100% forgot we had Diplopia. Our 
Our damage is back to a pretty high number. We got Curse of Darkness again. There's a mini boss in that room. I don't particularly want to fight that yet. Our movement speed went back to trash. Let's just go fight this mini boss. All right, that actually was okay. Get a soul heart. I was afraid it was gonna be like lust or something, and with our movement speed being as bad as it is, that would have been a bad spot to be in. Let's check out our secret room. So we know that secret room is there because we have the um, see through the doors hat spelunker, I think it's called. Uh, oh yeah, golden key. It's fantastic. And we get a dime. And we're gonna get a store because we had a mini boss fight already. Um, so we shouldn't get a greed fight in our store since we are. I think the game can only spawn one mini boss per floor. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But if I'm wrong, we'll find out whenever we get to the store. I like this 26 damage. This is uh, pretty nice. Well, we found the boss. But we can't... Actually, we could fight the boss, I suppose. Um, Because we have a stars card. So let's, let's actually just do that. Our movement speed is so trash that if mom stomps, we're... Definitely gonna get hit by her. Oh, that was close. Okay, take the Polaroid, because this is not too insane of a run yet. We're going to the devil deal. Alright. This is what we like to see. Damage. And now we're gonna stars card out. So normally you can't leave the mom fight, but we have stars card, so we're headed back to the floor. <coughs> that is sack of pennies, I think. I guess that's worth right now, just because we have silver dollar. So we're gonna get another store. Let's just go back this way, so we don't have to backtrack later on. Okay. Oh wait, I have a golden key. Might as well break those. They have a chance to drop hearts. Hooray. Not want cursed eye. We have an arcade. Boss trap room with four golden chests. We're gonna absolutely do that. I'm not really worried because of our damage right now. It's gonna be very easy. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, I mean, mystery sack, sure. And I don't even know what that is. Sack of sacks, maybe? It's fine, I guess. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of sacks behind us here. Still moving slower than anything, though. Um, we don't have to go back that way again unless we um, want to go into the cursed room. I could have diplopiated the mark and taken two of them in that devil deal, but I would really rather save diplopia for the store just because it's free a lot of stuff. It's probably, and our damage is already really good. Oh, that's the champion that's going to explode. Yeah, so this is good. Um, I'm going to buy a PhD. We get a Degas rune, which is good to have. We get Mama Mega, which we've already cleared this floor. <clears throat> so we can't go into the boss rush now. Um, I'm going to buy some soul hearts just to have some insurance.
Nothing good yet. Still nothing really worth it. I mean, deck of cards is fine, but it's not going to really change the outcome here. <laughs> Plan C, no thank you. With PhD, do we want to take the pills? It could give us tears up. It could give us soul hearts. Could be pretty good. I'll buy that. Oh, we have, that's right, we have starter deck. I forgot about that. Okay. So yeah, pills are pointless. So PhD was pointless. Um, don't really need hive mind. Chaos could make things spicy. We have a judgment and a temperance. We'll take day guys. We want chaos. We're pretty we're pretty strong. It could spice up the store. Let's just do it. Might as well see what other card we get here. Piece of diamonds. Um I think we're gonna leave with what we have. Cool. Alright, so I am gonna ace of diamonds everything in this room. But I'm going to drop all my stuff out here first. Yeah, we got a nickel out of it. Alright, silver dollar, the gaz, and judgment. I think that's going to do it for this floor. First room's kind of pointless now that we took chaos. Because um, now Guppy can spawn just anywhere. I mean, that's really the only reason we would go into Cursed Room. And the reason I came down here was to go into the Super Secret Room. Yep. Alright. I think it's time to, to head on down, probably. Yeah. So, essentially, this mom's bottle of pills here is the same thing as having deck of cards. Curse of the Lost. Probably gonna day guys this. I don't really feel like dealing with Curse of the Lost. So this is gonna give us a bunch of cards. And maybe a Yara rune. Have a lives. Fool's nice. Probably keep that. But yeah, our damage is good. Our tears went up by one, it looks like. So we must have got the stat up, Zodiac sign. Ooh, it's a charge key. Hermit. Yeah, let's just go get a free entry here. Black Candle. Thank you. Finally, something good in our store. The Black Candle gets rid of all curses for the rest of the run. And we're going to full clear now, because now we have, a good, we have a decent store that we can roll through. Well, actually, we don't have a roll in there, though. We just have the, um, the donation machine. All right, well, let's, let's just clear this floor anyways. Let's hagalize this room. Hey, we found the secret room, but we knew it was there anyway. I just didn't look at the map. <laughs> All right, what do we got in here? Some sacks. Blow this guy up. Another hermit card is nice. Help us out on the next floor. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're in pretty good shape right now. Imprints. Let's just fight this boss. Get our good old pal, the matriarch. I think that's two runs in a row now. boss is horrible. I'm okay with only taking two hits in here, though. 
Dark Prince's crown is actually going to give us stats with only one red heart, I believe. It does. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, that's actually perfect then. <clears throat> All right, so as long as we have one and exactly one red heart, we're going to get the benefit from Dark Prince's crown. Blow these guys up. Ooh, I like this room. I have no idea what hit me there. I must have got sniped from this fire up top. That's obnoxious. So, we're going to go ahead and just put that right there. Fast bombs. Man, it's five more bombs. Nothing wrong with that item. Let's blow this guy up. Money. Another fool card. So I'm going to just drop the temperance machine here. And blow these guys up. Blow this guy up. Get a little bit of money for our store. Because now we need to play like this is our last store because we haven't seen greed. Which means we're probably getting a greed fight on the next floor. I mean, a key for a key. Can't say no to that. More money and bombs. Always nice. So, I mean, our damage is pretty good. We could just go beat, beat the run right now, but... I don't know. I want to really show off the silver dollar. It's, it's a really powerful trinket. It's so awesome to have two more stores. A stars card and a hermit card. Now we have two methods of teleporting. Sure. We may as well do this room just because of how strong we are. Otherwise, I would just teleport out. Using I would use the stars card to teleport out. Get out of here. Keep on going. <clears throat> so yeah, the full clear has actually been nice. We picked up like 40 cents or something. Got sniped again. Moving too fast. Two clubs. That's just more bombs. So now we're pretty good on the bomb front. And we have done a circle, I think. Yeah, we're back to the start. Should be the last room over here. Okay, there's actually a down room. Wow. Well, a penny is nice, but it's not better than silver dollar because we can't take both. Fighters. All right, a couple more rooms. This is a pretty long run. Well, this is a room that I'm not sure I've ever seen. Nose Goblin is pretty good. Nose Goblin makes your tears essentially like boogers. They stick to the enemy. I probably should have taken damage there. Not quite sure how I dodged that. Guppy's hairball must have saved me. And the main reason we want to play our money like this is because <clears throat> we do have chaos. So there's always a chance that we're going to see Guppy in the store. Um, I'm not going in the cursed room because on the womb it costs a full heart to go in and out. I mean, we could teleport out, but I still just don't think that's worth it. Um, where was my store? Is it the top? So I can't even remember what was in the store now. So let's go see what it, what it was because we we hermited in there right away. Mom's wig. Honestly, let's just buy a few soul hearts and just get really healthy. Yeah. Now we will go see what's in that cursed room. 
We'll check out the cursed room, we'll star his card out, and then we'll leave the floor. me literally all the way over here um yeah our movement speed is still so trash i don't think we've had a run yet with insane movement speed is there any way we can get this coin no actually all right you want to see roman maxing we can make a bridge with this let's get up here and shoot the bomb there we go. One more cent. And off we go. Scarred Womb 2. We get... Um, this is the poison shot. This is Scorpio, I think. More money. I mean, that's a luck up. And we're strong. Let's just take it. So luck up gives you just a better chance of finding stuff after you clear a room. It doesn't necessarily give you more drops. It just makes sure you actually get drops. Normally, yet again, I wouldn't do this for that. It's a pretty bad item overall, unless you're at negative luck. But obviously we're so insanely strong that it just doesn't really matter. Justice is nice. Oh my god, what a justice card. You know, I'm going to go ahead and give Dad's coin the, uh, the MVP there for giving me a, a soul heart, a gold key, and a gold bomb. Got to be the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, so you see we got a chest there. We may have not got that with only three luck, but probably would have. I mean, got infinite bombs, so why not? Keep collecting that money. All right, well, this makes me nervous because we don't see a uh, fight yet. Feeling like we're getting a fight in our store for sure. Throw AWAS down. Ooh, we get a... Is that a trapdoor? No, that's shill. Uh, we have a hermit card, tower card. The two hermit cards. A stars card. Let's just take the two hermit cards. Let's blow this idiot up. Uh, we don't really need the silver dollar anymore, so... Let's take a liberty cap. Yeah, we get a donation machine. It's unfortunate. Really nothing in here worthwhile. Glad we stocked up on soul hearts, though. Buy the blue map just to have it. It'll kind of help us find the boss room. Sure. And just for fun, we'll crooked penny the rest of the room. See what happens. Oh. Never mind. We're going to bomb this a little bit. We're definitely going to take the pack. We don't have to bomb this. We could clear the floor, but whatever. I have 900 money in there. All right. I don't care enough about Empty Vessel. We got good damage now. Let's Crooked Penny. Ooh, okay. Emperor card's nice. It'll let us skip the entire next two floor, or next floor at least. That means this is also an Emperor, right? Oh, I can't buy it. I'm going to buy it, though. Math is fun. All right, so we have two Emperor cards, so we skip the next two floors. I mean, it's just Crooked Penny again for the fun of it, I guess. Yep. Okay. 
Hierophant. We're maxed out right now. <clears throat> With the super secret room being over here, that tells me the boss is probably this way as well. I'm not a big fan of this room. I feel like I always find a way to take damage in here. There is our boss. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna cruise on out of this run at this point. Get a devil deal. Get two number two of Guppy there. Might as well take it, I suppose. And we'll just uh, crooked penny here too. Hey. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we did take the Polaroid, right? Yeah. Hi, Cathedral. What do you have for us? Another Emperor card. Get out of jail free card. We could go fight Mega Satan. Yeah, let's do that. That could be fun. Well, that bounced me into Holy Mantle, but I would have taken that anyway. Tammy's head. I mean, sure. What's our tears? Oh, we, we actually have the same Zodiac sign as last time. No and no. So we're going to use this Get Out of Jail free card. It's going to open up the Mega Satan fight. Empress. Yeah, sure. I don't really want to clear this floor. Let's go kill Mega Satan. So that Empress card gave us a nice 7 damage up. There goes our Holy Mantle already. It's been a while since I fought Mega Stanley. Oh yeah, we have Flight. Alright, we got the, uh, we got the Seraphim transformation. Now we have a shield. Ow. So we're gonna get the dub. Delirium spawns. I'm not going to go fight Delirium. This is already a long enough run. It got really powerful thanks to Judas's Revenge. You love to see that item show up. And we have a shield again. I think that's Empty Vessels doing there. So this we should make easy work of this. goes Mega Satan. We did get a Delirium Portal, but like I said, I'm not going to go fight Delirium today. This run is strong. It's not. It's probably not Delirium strong. I've been taking some pretty sloppy damage throughout the entire run, too. Um, it's kind of late. It's like 1030. Anyways, I think that's going to do it. Really powerhouse run there.
So I appreciate you guys all hanging out, watching the video. It brings our streak up to four. Uh, we'll pick this up in another day or so. So I'm going to be releasing videos every other day at noon mountain time. So that's 2 p.m. Eastern. And again, appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. And we'll see you in the next one.